Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sicardis, and in today's review, I'm going to review the Raspberry Mint playing cards. Now, today is the end of my seven days of deck reviews, and for some reason, see this dog right here? He looks normal, right? Okay, I'm trying to film a video, and he's just like, I get to focus, like this is where I shoot, but like, he's just in the way. Why has he got a lay right next to where I'm doing the video? I just don't get it. Why? Let's get on with the review. Okay, so welcome back. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Raspberry Mint playing cards. Now this deck was brought up by 52 cards. Now this deck was actually on Kickstarter, uh, it needed $10,000 but it hit $125,000 which is ridiculous. Uh, it came out in 2016, it is a marked deck uh, and the whole box is embossed. Any foil, any um, text or font or anything you see on the box is embossed. It is USPCC and it's an air cushion finish. So there is a black edition which I have reviewed and if you want to check that out just click the uh, video there and it will take you straight to the video. But watch this one as well, I'd recommend that. So first off, let's have a look and by the way if you can't click on it because you're on a phone I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to click that and check it out. So let's have a look at the tuck case. Okay, so starting with the tuck case, it has a red and a burgundy colour to it. It features the red design going the whole way around the tuck case, and it has mint and then the logo there in foil. And then a red foil has luxury playing cards. You can see it says on the side as well the mint collection, and then the opposite side as well. Okay, it has luxury, the modern, okay, and it has these little design works across. On the top we have a seal um, and this actually has launch edition with the uh, kind of mints logo there. On the bottom it has mint and then it has the logo and it has basically some copyright information for 52 cards. Would have been cool if maybe he had raspberry and like in, in the bottom that would have been quite interesting to have like each colour having the actual colour of the deck which would have been awesome. And then you can see you have the back design which looks absolutely awesome. It shows a red border but it actually has a white border and it has this really unique, and this is all embossed, this really unique design which you can see there. Now this doesn't stop, you actually pull the tab open and you can see it features the logo there again, but it has the actual design inside this deck. In the tuck case, it continues the design. How awesome is that tuck case? Okay, so one of the ad cards you get is presented by 52 Cards, and it just basically says if you go to www.52cards.com slash mint, um, and it gives you information, so I'll leave that link in the description. But if you just quickly flip this one over, it's actually a producer's card, which actually tells us some of the producers of this card, which I think is awesome. And you can see it says, it's basically saying thanks to the backers. There's over 2,000 backers, and there was 54 producers of this deck that have helped out. Then we actually have a double backer. But what I've noticed with this is it's a bit off-centered. Now, I don't want to mean it in a bad way. I really like 52 cards, but obviously I've got a review, and I can't be biased. But you can see on one side, the border's thinner, and then this one's a bit thicker, so that may be an issue, but to be honest to me, it doesn't really, I don't really care, but it's just, you can see that one side is thinner than the other by a smudge. So let's have a look at the Jokers. Okay, so here are the Jokers. Now, yes, you're thinking, why is there a Queen of Hearts? Because on the other side is the Joker. Okay, so you receive two identical jokers, but one of them actually has a Queen of Hearts on the opposite side. For the Ace of Spades, we can see it has this really nice The Mint Collection written there, with the Ace with the red going around the outside. They've used the back design to create this, which I think is awesome, with the custom pips. Now, if you haven't seen the pips, I'm going to show you those. They um, are really, really awesome. You get the custom pips with the shading that they've got going on, and this continues for the hold for the rest of the spades with this custom shading that's behind the pips which I think is awesome he's really spent a lot of time on this deck and I think that's cool then you have the royalty which I really want to show you guys you can see the Jack Queen King they kind of are the same colorization for the whole of the deck because it's kind of the same theme 
uh, you can see it features a red and the black, the red and the black colorization there. But then if, see if you go to the hearts, you can see there's not much change at all. Um, maybe the hearts will feature a bit more of a red. With the red cards, you can see as well, they're kind of a burgundy, which is also an awesome fact as well. But when you actually get to, for example, the hearts, you can see it continues with the uh, design of the outside portion, the actual pips going round, and this continues the whole way through the deck. You do get in this deck four custom aces, which are just giant aces, which is an awesome fact. Let's have a look at the other two suits. Okay, so for the club's royalty, you can see that's what they look like. They feature the same. They've got the custom club there, and then you can see we have a look at the diamonds. Exactly the same, different colorization. Really, really awesome. They've paid a lot of attention to detail on this. It's a really good deck that you can perform with. The pips, though, you can see they're just standard. They go the whole way through with the standard diamonds with the custom diamond there. Same with the club, and the same with the club pips. So all around, that is the deck. Now, obviously, there is a load, this deck is an awesome deck of cards, but other than how good it looks, can it handle? Okay, so with the handling of the deck, so first off we can see this deck looks really, really nice. It pops off the back. The back design is really unique with the white border going around. With the intricate design, it looks absolutely awesome. But when it comes to handling, the deck looks amazing. It handles well, it feels great in the hands. The air cushion finish really, really does something for this deck. You can see the fin board really implements this really great fan. And this doesn't stop there. Even when it goes for a giant fan, you can see this is also an easy job for this deck. It looks absolutely stunning. I really would recommend this deck to anyone. Obviously, uh, when this is out, there is a waiting list at the moment, but I'm sure you guys will be able to pick some of these up at the moment. They are absolutely awesome. This has been my review. This is an awesome deck of cards. You can see nothing is an issue for this deck, and that's why I think Asan has done an absolutely amazing job with 52 cards and the team at 52 cards. Really, really nice deck of cards. It handles great looks good, is presentable, and there you go. So all round, there you go. That has been my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of this deck. Would you recommend this deck to someone? Let me know. And uh, all round, that is my review. So that has been it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then comment down below and let me know what you thought of this deck. Would you get it? Would you not? Let me know. Give the video a like, just down there. Comment down below what you thought of this deck. Would you pick it up? Would you make any changes? Click subscribe, previous video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching 7 Days of Deck Reviews, and I can confirm there will be 30 Days of Deck Reviews coming soon. So that's it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Me a tell you me a while, I tell you me a while, I tell you me a while